this is Katie. In today's video, I wanna talk about how to make living in a car a little bit more comfortable. So a lot of you guys know that I've been living in this little car on and off for the past nine years, and I've definitely found some ways to make it more comfortable, cozier, and like feel more like home. And so I wanted to share some of those with you guys today. So yeah, if you're interested in this topic and some more car-related and lifestyle-related videos, I really hope that you're subscribed to my channel, and let's just get started. Okay, so really quickly, before we get into the video, I just wanna show you these earrings. These are the Paris earrings by Ana Luisa. They're hoops, but they have like little like, they're like twisty hoops. And then this herringbone necklace that I love is the Ina necklace from Ana Luisa as well. A lot of you guys know I've been working with Ana Luisa for well over a year. And so I just wanted to do a little shout out as part of a sponsored collaboration with them and just show you a couple of the pieces that I love. And yeah, if you wanna check out any other Ana Luisa jewelry, I wear their jewelry all the time. And so if you want to check out any of their pieces, I will have a link in my description. So yeah, I wanted to make this video because I know there's a huge assumption that living in a car must be the most uncomfortable thing in the world, physically and mentally, emotionally. And I personally don't think that that's true. And so I wanted to debunk that assumption a little bit, but also if you're living in a car or if you're about to go live in a car, I just want to give some tips on how to make it a little bit comfier, a little bit cozier and feel a little bit more like home. Just like there's ways that you could make an apartment feel homier. You know what I mean? And so I just want to give you some of my recommendations that you could do easily in a car. Okay. So number one, these are, what order are they in? I think the first few are more specifically like physically comfortable and then the rest are more like emotionally comfortable. And you'll see what I mean by that. Okay. So number one that I have, which is a newer one that I just discovered. And honestly, it's been a game changer for my life and being comfortable in my car. This one is specifically about sleeping. If you're sleeping in the front seat, please, please, please put a pillow underneath you. Sit on a pillow, please. It is a game changer in how comfortable it is because I've slept in my front seat before just sitting on the chair, leaning this back, and it is not very comfortable. A lot of you guys have done that before, whether you're taking a nap, you're on a road trip, whatever. A lot of you guys have sat in your car, leaned the seat back, and tried to sleep. It's not comfortable. It's not good on your back, your hips. It's not comfortable. But if you sit on a pillow, game changer. It's like night and day. Like seriously, if you sit on a pillow, there's something with the angle and the cushion. And even just like when you're leaning back, the angle that your hips are at when you're a little bit more elevated, at least in my car, it's a game changer. Sitting on a pillow and sleeping in the front seat now is like comfortable because of that pillow. And so if you want some more comfort when you're sleeping, specifically in the front seat, pillow, believe me. Um, but obviously for comfort, if you can sleep in the back seat, it's just gonna be a little bit more comfortable because you can stretch out, um, but pillow, game changer. Okay, number two, kind of speaking of being in the front seat and speaking of a pillow, if you have a seat cushion and or a back cushion, um, it could just be another game changer probably when, especially when you're driving. Um, I think a seat cushion, I had a seat cushion and then I got rid of it because it was just like old and like needed to be replaced and then I have not bought a new one yet, so maybe I'll do that today. Um, but sitting on a cushion, <laughs> It's just gonna be really helpful for like your hips and your posture and your spine And then it could be the same for a back cushion specifically depending on how supportive this is Having a back cushion could be really helpful as well And even like a neck one too depending again how your spine is and how your seat is and how tall you are and stuff like that Those things can be really helpful for being more physically comfortable while you're driving or just hanging out in the front seat And then they also have like seat covers that you know could either be cushiony or I think they even have like massage ones or heated ones and stuff like that on Amazon and stuff. I think they have like a ton of different types of seat covers, you know, because when you're sitting in your car, if you're just hanging out, you want it to be a little more comfortable, you know? And so there are definitely ways to do that. Number three is if you have this space, which I know some of us don't, but if you have this space, obviously something like a mattress or even just a sleeping pad or a sleeping mat could be a game changer. Say you're sleeping in the backseat of your car, but you don't have room for a mattress, right? You still might be able to get like a blow up mat, like a, like a camping mat, or even just like a piece of foam that you could put right underneath you in the back seat. And again, something like that, it just depends on your body, how comfortable you are, um, and what could add a layer of comfort for you. For me, my back seat by itself is pretty comfortable when I have the space to sleep back there. Um, it's pretty comfortable by itself, but adding like a piece of foam, oh, would probably make it so much more comfortable. And some things like that, especially if it's just a piece of foam, is not gonna be very expensive. And even if it's something like a quick to blow up sleeping mat, like a camping mat, those on Amazon, I have one of those that I use for camping and I think I got it on Amazon for like 30 bucks or something, 40 bucks. And it's one of those ones that's really quick to blow up. And you know, they have ones that you can blow up with your breath or with a pump. I don't know why I did this. That's not how pumps work. 
they're the pump you guys know <laughs> um but they have different all different kinds and so it depends on your budget the space you have in the car and like your level of what you need for your body but whether you're sleeping in the front sit on a pillow if you're sleeping in the back there are definitely ways to get a sleeping mat or a piece of foam or something like that Okay, so sticking with the idea of being like more physically cozy and making your car feel homier, get a pair of slippers when you're hanging out in the car or like a pair of like fuzzy socks and get like a really comfortable, you know, like a sweatshirt or a hoodie or even like a little bathrobe if you have the space for it um, and get some cozy blankets, stuff like that. Like that can make your car feel so much homier if you have a couple cozy blankets, a pair of cozy socks and one of those like teddy bear pullovers. I don't know exactly what they're called. I have one and I've worn it in a few of my videos that I got from H&M that I call it my cozy because it's like a very cozy pullover. It's like almost almost like um, like teddy bear material. So I think they might be called like a teddy bear pullover. Um, but if you just get a few things like that, when you're sitting in your car, you know, there might be some times that you feel cramped or you feel a little uncomfortable. But if you have a couple things like that, it can definitely add to your comfort physically. And then also, honestly, it can add to your comfort like emotionally and mentally. Like, oh, I have my comfy socks on. I have my little like cozy sweatshirt on. Um, and it can just kind of, you know, make it feel a little more homier. Okay, so the next one on my list is to downsize as much as possible and keep your place as tidy as possible and make sure that everything has a home. And so I think one way to make your space in your car, especially if you're in a smaller car, but this is the same if you're in a van and honestly, if you're in an apartment or anything too, but downsizing and only having things that you love and that you use around you is gonna make your car feel a little homier, you know? And if everything has a space and if it's kept tidy, you'll feel a little bit more like emotionally comfortable that way and obviously physically comfortable because things will be put away, things will be tidier and you will have more space in your car. But I think that this is like a physically comfortable and an emotionally comfortable because if everything in your car is stuff that you love and that you're excited to have and that you use, but you down downsized enough so that you still have some space in your car and that everything that you own has a space to go to. And if you tidy up pretty frequently, I think it's just going to add some emotional comfort of, okay, this is my home. I'm taking care of my home. And I think that it'll give yourself almost just like some satisfaction and some peace to know when things are tidy, when things have a home. And I'm not even saying that it has to be tidy and perfectly neat all the time, but if your car is like overflowed with being messy all the time and it's filled to the top and you can't find anything, and everything is just stuffed in, you know, you're gonna add a little bit more stress and physical discomfort, you know? So that's why I was saying like, if everything has a home and if you downsize as much as you can, and if you only own stuff that you love, you'll not only have that physical comfort of having more space, but you'll have that emotional peace. And going off of that one, make sure that you throw out your trash. You know, I throw out my trash at least once a day. Sometimes, obviously, it might be twice a day, depending on if it's, you know, food or something like that. Um, but then also, you know, even with your laundry, like make sure that your laundry is in a specific part of your car. And if it starts to get overflowing or starts to take up too much space, go do your laundry. You know, just kind of do some upkeep like that. And I feel like just when you do things like that and when you're taking care of the space that you're living in, you will feel more physically and emotionally comfy, cozy, and homey. And like you're really taking care of your space. Like there's some sort of, not pride, but just some sort of like comfort and peace when you know that you're taking care of the space that is taking care of you. You know, really when you're living in a car, the car's taking care of you. It's blocking you from the elements. It's giving you a roof over your head. It's keeping you warm. It's keeping you cool. And so if you take care of it back, you know, you just, you can kind of feel that kind of peace if you do that. Just kind of do the same kind of upkeep that you would in a house. It's going to be different because you're in a smaller space, but it'll definitely give you that peace and more of like that homey feeling. Okay. So these last few are more about making your car like homey, like your own space and more like mentally and or emotionally comfortable, cozy, like, oh, this is my home. You know what I mean? Um, so one of them, the next one, which also is physically comfort as well is buying an eye mask and some earplugs for at night. If you're sleeping in a parking lot and it's a little loud or a little bright, having like one of those really nice eye masks, you can even get like the cooling ones or the aromatherapy ones or whatever. Um, and then even some earplugs could just, again, add to just being a little bit more comfortable at night, specifically when you're sleeping, I think it could add a little bit more comfort. Also, how many times have I said the word comfort or comfortable in this video? Let me know. Probably 45. <laughs> okay. The next one on this list is definitely more of like an emotionally comfortable thing. Get some stuffed animals. 
I have four stuffed animals. I have Bubba and Moosey in the car. And a lot of you guys know I'm visiting my dad right now. And so I have biscuit and cornbread in the house where I'm staying. But these guys wanted to stay in the car. And so I have these guys. But honestly, for me, and you might not be like this, but for me, I love having stuffed animals. And yes, I got all of these as an adult. So these are not even like sentimental from my childhood stuffed animals. These are stuffed animals that I got in my 20s or 30s that I just love. I love having stuffed animals around. Um, and so you might be like that too. There might be a little stuffed animal that you like having around or maybe you're like me and you have a little collection going but it's just something that I feel like makes my car a little homier for me right Bubba so going off of that one, really just having any sentimental, small little personal items in your car. You know, it kind of depends on the type of person you are. Maybe you're really, really sentimental and you want to keep a bunch of stuff. Maybe you're not very sentimental, but there still might be a couple things that you want to have in your car. You know, um, I'm not super sentimental. I wouldn't say that I'm very sentimental, but I do have a few things in the car. Like I have some like old notes and cards from some people that really mean a lot to me. I have some pictures that I still keep in my car, like physical pictures that I have in my car. Um, and I have a couple tiny little gifts that I've received in the past from people that are important to me, just tiny little ones that I keep in the car that I like having with me. And you know, I think that that could just make you feel more like your car is a home, right? That's the whole point of this video, how to make your car feel homier. And I think having a few sentimental or even just personal items that you like having around, make space for them in your car, you know? Like when you're living in your car and if you are practicing more of a minimalist viewpoint, it does not mean that you have to get rid of everything. You're allowed to keep things that you enjoy, that you love, that when you hold, they like make you smile and things that you use a lot, you know, like you're allowed to have all those things in your car. And so just make sure that you make a little bit of room for things that might be sentimental, personal, that when you see them kind of make you smile, like it's good to have a couple of those things around, you know, and obviously other things can make you smile that aren't physical things, memories, you know, talking with friends, stuff like that can make you smile but there might be a couple little things that were gifts or that you got in a special place that you visited once that you can keep in your car that you can look at every once in a while, you know, or just even have like hanging out somewhere that you can see that might just bring a, a certain level of hominess to your car. And then going off of that one, I think that it's fun to decorate your car. If you're going to live in your car, even if you're just going on a road trip, even if you don't live in your car and you don't go on road trips, I still think that decorating your car can be really, really fun. So my form of decorating my car I do on my ceiling if you can see all of these things on my ceiling so I have pins I have a couple pictures I have a couple stickers and I have a bunch of patches from some of the places I've been to um, I'm gonna do a dedicated video showing you my whole ceiling because I have a lot of stuff up there um, but this is like my way of decorating and it like I don't know like it brings me joy like I really like looking at my ceiling because some of the things are a little bit more sentimental some of the things are from places that I visited obviously a lot of the things are from places that I visited um, and then just looking at it it's like a reminder of some of the things that I've done and just you know just some cool things like I like this it's kind of like either having things on your refrigerator or having you know like art hanging up or having a gallery wall or something like that I actually want to even expand this to potentially even like my whole roof I'm not 100% sure yet but at least a little bit more than I already have now but Anyway, I think it's really fun to do some decorating. And that could really be whatever you want. You know, you can keep a little potted, what, what's a plant that does not need really any water? Like a cactus, that seems dangerous to have in the car. What if you have to stop short? Maybe like a succulent <laughs> or like a fake little plant that you keep in a cup holder or even just something like clipped somewhere or something pinned somewhere, hanging somewhere. If you just have a couple pictures hanging up or something like that, or you know, even having some cool lights, maybe you can get a cute little cover for your steering wheel. There's just a ton of different ways that you can decorate your car. And I just think it's a really fun way to make it homey and comfortable and cozy and like oh this is my personal space you know like make it personal to you okay actually I just have one more thing on here and it's a little bit more of that emotional comfort again that I wrote do some things and have some hobbies that you would do in a house but do them in a car so for example you can do skincare like you can do a face mask you can read watch your favorite show on your phone um, you know like you guys know that I like to do those little sticker books I haven't really been doing them as much lately but I was really like in 
into doing sticker books for a little while, but they have, you know, like activity books. You can do Sudoku. I recently got into Sudoku. I feel like I always used to not like it. And then like a few days ago, I was like, I want to try it. And now I've been doing it every night for a few minutes. But there are just a couple little hobbies that you can have in the car. What if you like to paint? You can get, you know, a thing of paint, a tiny little travel easel. And then when you are parked somewhere, you can paint in the car. You can even go outside and paint in nature. You know, there are so many hobbies that you can do when you're in a car. And even if you can't physically do them in the car because of space or something like that, most of them you could find somewhere to do it outside or something like that. Or even if your hobby is to exercise, you can get a gym membership or you can exercise outside or in the car and do this. <laughs> but yeah, so think of some hobbies, especially some that might be, you know, some space saver hobbies. Some, you know, some hobbies that don't take up a lot of space. Again, you know, if you love to read, maybe get a Kindle. Like I have some physical books, but I also have a Kindle. I do actually have some finger paints in the car. <laughs> Just in case I want to finger paint. I have some sticker books. I have what other like toys or games Oh, I do have a couple decks of cards that are really 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 good thing I think to keep in the car because whether you're with friends Obviously you can play some card games, but if you're alone there are definitely card games you can play by yourself as well I have some apps on my phone that are game related or then even sometimes I'll watch YouTube Hulu Netflix all those on my phone or if you have an iPad or something and so yeah almost making a list or just even like a mental inventory of the hobbies that you can do while you're living in a car. Again, whether that's physically in your car or while you're traveling, if you go outside, or even if you want to, you know, every time you go to a new city, you go to a minor league baseball game or something like that. Um, so they can be outside hobbies as well. But if you make a list or just a mental list of them, it can just remind you that living in a car can be your home and that you can still do fun things and do activities and have hobbies and have like a joyful and fulfilling life when you're you're living in a car. So that is everything on my list. Of course, this is not like a full list. Like there are definitely other ways that you can make your car cozier, comfier, and feel more like home. And so if you have any other ideas, please let us know in the comments. I would love to see them and I'm sure other people would like to read them as well. But this is just my little list that I had just because I think that some people think that living in a car has to be uncomfortable, has to be negative, has to be horrible. And whether you're living in your car on purpose or because you're forced to, there are just ways to make it cozier and make it feel more like home. And so I hope that this list helped you out a little bit. But yeah, I really hope that you're subscribed to my channel and I hope that you're following me on Instagram as well. I'm doing a lot more Instagram reels and posts and stuff on there. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really, really, really hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. I love you. Jesus loves you and I'll talk to you later. Bye.